It depends how much you want to push back, I guess. I think an artist sometimes will, will think they know what they want and then you deliver on that and it's not what they want and it can be quite a frustrating process. And I, I often like to throw a bit of a curveball in at first, at least try in the early stages and be like, hey, I know you wanted to sound like Charlie Puth or whatever, but I think this would work and just see whether they like it or not. And sometimes they definitely don't. And you, you then just go back to the original brief. <laughs> but um, I think there are ways that you can kind of get them to listen to stuff with an open mind and, and say, hey, um, I just wanted to try this. I think it could be really cool because I think ultimately, like if an artist comes to you and says, I want to sound like this, I want to sound like a reference track, they're never going to sound original. And so I, yeah. I really try and push people to not sound like what already exists. And if someone's coming with a lot of references, it's not necessarily going to, it, it can always sound great, but it's not necessarily going to sound unique. And I, th I think it's ultimately always good to try stuff. And if the artist just puts their foot down and says no, then at least you've tried. <laughs>